Student protests took place outside the Prime Ministry before marching towards the United States Embassy, the Presidency, and the Directorate. The road blockade that is hindering winter tourism in Theth has trapped two Spanish tourists in the Albanian Alps. Now they call upon government to pay more attention to this area. The owner of the joinery visited by Eddie Rama said that after the new tax cut, additional revenues will be used to increase the number of employees. Good evening. It is 6 o'clock on Tuesday, the 8th of January, 2019. Welcome to the English edition of Aura News. My name is Oliver, and I'm here to bring you the day's top stories from around the country translated into English. Unlike other days, this Tuesday's protest by students brought about another development. Several Polytechnic University students have entered their assigned lessons together with teachers. However, the lessons were interrupted due to the low participation of students. Several students have tried to start teaching at the Faculty of Law, but were dismissed because they were too small in number. There are many reasons why they tried to enter the lesson, one of them being very low temperatures in the square. Many students are beginning to feel discouraged, but they do not realize that the more resistance the government has, the more resistance we have to have too. They are returning and starting the march from the university to the prime ministry. Also, the students are being organized in law and other faculty, said one student. Meanwhile, in the faculty of philology history, some lessons were, in fact, held. Teaching has also been held at the faculty of law, but many students themselves have said to have received threats against them and pressure for returning to the university auditories. This Tuesday's protest in front of the prime ministry started later than previous days. Although affected by low temperatures, students still gathered for their common purpose, stating their points with approval in parliament. Furthermore, students started the march from the Prime Ministry to the U.S. Embassy, the Presidency, and the Directorate. The Prime Minister, Eddie Rama, also reacted to the protest of students and the boycott of auditors. In a post via Twitter, Eddie Rama urged students not to be guided by misinformation. Rama asks students not to pay more than 50% of the study fee. The auditors of the University of Shkodra were absent this Tuesday. Students continued boycotting as they came up with a new request for the director. They have made a formal request to the director's office asking to postpone the dates of the exams. At the request, students said, the dates announced by the director for the exam season for all faculties are not fit in this protest period. Students seek to find a more appropriate time period for taking the exams. One student saying, we request an annulment for the already announced exam season, and we ask for another period not less than two weeks from the date of the end of the student protest to take the exams. Within the submitted request, it is written, we will review our list of, re of requests by adding tentative updates as a function of the developments of the student protest. Elbasan students also continued the boycotting of lessons until the completion of requests submitted to the government. Their representation was received by Rector Skender Topi, from whom they received the guarantee that they will not be penalized for their absences in lessons during the days of protest. But sources at the university announced that the Ministry of Education has received a letter requesting a report on the situation every day, whether or not student instruction will take place. Meanwhile, at the University of Korcha, some students attended lessons, others engaged in protest, while some had boycotted auditors. Spanish tourists who were heading to Theth were rendered stuck in the middle of the road. They have launched an appeal for authorities to effectively clear out and clean the streets. Otherwise, it would be impossible for tourists to come and see miracles. Here in this area, it is important for the government to open up the roads so tourists can see this miracle. If appropriate action is not taken, it will be impossible to talk about tourism here, said one tourist. Meanwhile, the woman says that in such cases, the army does come out to clear the road and would never let the road be in such poor condition. The Dukagini Street has been blocked for more than three weeks now, where the segment from Chafai Thoris towards Thethi is considered dangerous and could risk the lives of drivers along the segment. No measures have been taken so far for the clearing of the road of snow, and still residents of Clemendi Malsie Made are facing a very difficult situation. 
Prime Minister Edi Rama has visited a wood and furniture processing plant located in Kashar, which will benefit from the latest tax reduction. The tax on profits will drop from 15 to 5 percent as a result of increasing the annual turnover threshold of up to 14 million lek. Entrepreneurs see this reduction as an opportunity to expand the activity and invest in modern technology. This year, from 8 million lek, we raise profits to 14 million lek. This gives us the opportunity to expand as a business and to add to our company's staff. Also, that 15% tax profit that has now become 5% allows us to move forward as a business and employ more workers, said the joinery owner. The Prime Minister said that with the increase of the annual turnover of up to 14 million lek as a result of the decrease in profit tax of 5%, the small business is relieved from the complications that arose out of the previous 15% tax. Now, I believe that this is, this is going to be beneficial for our country because not any other country in the region has a tax system where up to $140,000 a year has just a 5% tax. We are interested in employment because businesses will increase their investments to expand, said Eddie Rama. The Prime Minister advised that good income management in relationship to employees would be much more beneficial for entrepreneurship. You have to share your earnings with your workers in the sense that they live in a family that produces and earns a living. They should feel like a part of the business, not just someone who comes up here to work and is treated simply as any old employee, but as somebody who serves as part of the business's development. When workers feel like shareholders of the company they work for, in the participatory sense, the owner can take care of certain business aspects beyond the typical question of, what is the salary for doing this job? You have people with positive energy who put in 110%, said the Prime Minister. The entrepreneur promised that 10% of their profits will go to salaries, to workers, and to new technological machinery. The weekly protests by the Albanian students have also been echoed in German media. ZDF Television in Germany broadcasted a news story in which it stressed that students have been protesting against the government for several weeks, accusing it of corruption and links to drug trafficking. In the Chronicles is depicted the protest that is currently being held in front of the Prime Ministry, while also highlighting the demands made by students. The ZDF film group was accompanied by Igli Tola, a university student who exposed the bad conditions of the dormitories in Albania. The displayed scenes were showed, showed student dormitory toilets in disabused conditions with moldy walls. The German journalist said that students lack basic elementary things, while those in government live in luxury and are involved in many corruption scandals. Also in the German report was Deputy Education Minister Bessa Shahini, who was also interviewed and stated that the government has invited students to hold dialogues in order to find a solution on how to improve the situation in the facilities. But the students have not accepted, said the journalist, as they have lost confidence in the country's political elite. Meanwhile, pol political scientist Afrim Krasnici from the Albanian Institute for Political Studies raised the concern of pedagogues with false diplomas. Among them are two ministers in the government of Prime Minister Edi Rama, emphasized Krasnici. But they are not dismissed because they are his associates. The German paper also noted that the protests are the reactions of a generation that for a long time has not been taken into consideration the prospects of a good future are lacking, and the university system requires comprehensive reform. Students, with their demands, have won the support of the whole country, concluded the report by German television ZDF. And that's the news from across the country today. Thank you for watching our English edition of Aura News this evening. Be sure to join me again every day from Monday to Saturday at 6 p.m. for the latest news from Albania. Once again, on behalf of War News, thank you and good night.